Hello, I'm Vanessa from Ratings.com. Over here, we've tested over 200 soundbars, and we've noticed one thing. Samsung models tend to dominate our top picks. The newest addition to their lineup is the Samsung HW Q990D, which is their flagship model. This 11.14 setup comes with a subwoofer, satellites, sound customization features, and HDMI 2.1. The Q990C, Samsung's 2023 model, was even the model we recommended as our best pick. But with a new year comes a new product looking for the crown. How does the Q990D hold up? Is it the best soundbar of 2024 so far? Keep watching to find out. In terms of looks, you'd be hard-pressed to tell this model apart from its predecessor. It's got an all-black look with metal grills to help protect the speakers. There's an interface on the right side that displays things like your volume and current output. It can only handle four characters at a time, though, so we'll have to scroll to show you longer messages. The bar and satellites have sleek angled edges, whereas the subwoofer is rectangular with a plastic plate to protect the woofer. The bar is long enough that it may not fit between the legs of a 55-inch TV. On the upside, you can mount the bar to the wall. The brackets and screws are even included in the box to make things a little more straightforward. The setup feels well-built and premium, just like its price tag. Its blend of durable plastic and metal ensures that it's a sturdy design meant to last. One of the biggest changes to this year's model is the inclusion of HDMI 2.1. While this connection isn't new, and some competitors like Sony have included it for a couple of years now, Samsung's finally caught up. HDMI 2.1 allows for higher bandwidth signals to pass through the soundbar. This is especially useful for gamers, since next-gen consoles have high refresh rates or require variable refresh rates for smoother motion. This bar supports a refresh rate of 4K at 120Hz. It also supports variable refresh rates to sync up your TV with your gaming console, ensuring a smooth, tear-free gaming experience. In other words, it reduces the ugly visual artifacts that can make your gameplay look bad, allowing you to game without disruption. Gamers can rejoice at the auto low latency mode too. This handy feature allows the console to request the TV to switch into a low latency mode, like game mode, for even less delay between your audio and visuals. The wonders of asking nicely. If you don't need HDMI 2.1 and the higher bandwidth support it provides, you can utilize eARC and optical on the soundbar. Both HDMI and eARC support all common audio formats like Dolby Atmos, Dolby Digital, and DTS, which is great if you're using a streaming service or watching Blu-rays. Conversely, via optical, you'll get Dolby Digital and DTS support. While it's great having a wealth of connectivity options available, you'll also want to know if using them results in a noticeable delay between your audio and visuals. This delay, known as latency, can negatively impact the enjoyability of your content. Luckily, we over here at Ratings have been working hard on a new test bench to measure it across different connections and audio formats. For the most part, your audio and visuals are synced, regardless of your home setup. That said, Delay is higher when listening to Dolby Digital content via optical, but that's what the audio sync feature in the companion app is for. Manual compensation to bring your audio and visuals in line. Prefer a wireless connection? You're also in luck because the bar supports all major options, making it easy to send your favorite playlist directly to the bar. You can even tap your smartphone onto the bar to play audio via Bluetooth. Pretty cool if you want to let your friends take the wheel as party DJ. Chromecast isn't supported in all regions though, so you'll want to check to see if it's available via your country's product page. This 11.14 setup stuns with its well-balanced sound. Thanks to its subwoofer, it's able to reproduce thumpy, rumbly bass. Action-packed movies like Terminator 2 bring the intensity of explosions and gunfire to your room, while music genres like EDM and hip-hop have bass lines with weight and punch. That said, the rest of the frequency response is sure to please. Dialogue and instruments are crisp and clear, so they aren't drawn out by the bass. If you prefer a different sound, Samsung has equipped the bar with a lot of customization tools, like Space Fit Sound, a room correction feature that adapts the bar's sound to your room's acoustics. There's also a graphic EQ and presets, though you'll only be able to access the EQ if you're in standard mode. Keep in mind that our settings, aka using the standard mode, will give you the flattest sound in relation to our target. Since the bar comes with satellites, you'll get an immersive surround sound experience. Racing cars in your favorite chase scenes will sound like they're actually whizzing past you. The satellites, in addition to the two drivers on the bar, also help create height with content like Dolby Atmos, so helicopters will sound like they're really soaring above you, creating a dimensional sound. This sound bar can create a good stereo soundstage too. The soundstage is about the size of the bar itself. You could use the adaptive preset to help artificially widen the soundstage, but it can make the audio seem hollow and voices sound further back in the mix. 
On the upside, if you stick to standard mode, the focus is very good, so you'll be able to pinpoint sound effects like voices in the room around you. And the bar can get loud. It's the perfect choice if you want to fill a large or open room with sound. Thankfully, if you push the bar to max volume, there's very low compression, ensuring that your audio sounds clean and clear. If you're looking for more features to help adjust the bar sound, you'll want to check out Q-Symphony, allowing you to sync the bar with your compatible Samsung TV for a more immersive sound. Want to watch TV and listen to music without disturbing others around you? Private listening sends audio to the satellite speakers only, which helps reduce the overall sound level in the room. You can also utilize sound grouping to get the satellites to play left and right channel content for a stereo sound. Included in your purchase is a remote, allowing you to make all the changes you want to your bar. But if you prefer to live in the 21st century like I do, you can also use the SmartThings app on your phone to access the same features. Alternatively, Amazon Alexa is built in, letting you control the bar by voice. Some regions support Google Assistant, but again, you'll want to check the Samsung website for your model's compatibility. If you're tired of Alexa spying on your sick tune requests, you can mute the microphone via a button on the bar. Well, now that everything's laid out, should you buy this bar? Are you looking for a top dog setup? Then yes, the Q990D's got it all. Versatility from streaming Netflix to gaming? Check. Sound quality for your 10th playback of Jagged Little Pill? Check. Customizability to really make the sound bar your own? Check. And HDMI 2.1 support? Better late than never for gamers. Check, check, check. All of this makes the Q990D a hard product to beat in terms of performance. There aren't many competitors with this level of functionality at this price point either. But while it's worth the money, its hefty price tag can put it out of reach for some. If the cost is a bit steep, you'll want to consider last year's model, the Samsung HW Q990C. It may be passe if you care about hot and trendy products, but this older bar offers a better cost to performance ratio, so long as you don't need HDMI 2.1. A lot of the core features are the same, like satellite speakers and a subwoofer for an immersive experience. There are also sound customization features like an EQ. The best part, if you're lucky, you can find it at a discount. There aren't many bars out there that come close to the performance of the HW Q990D. That said, if you're already in the Sonos ecosystem, then the Sonos Ultimate Immersive Set with Arc is a better option. You can easily integrate this setup with other Sonos speakers in your home for a sound that really travels. Plus, its sound stage is wider, giving you that feeling that audio stretches past the bar. It does cost more though, and ultimately falls short of the Samsung, since it only has an eARC port and lacks an EQ. Still, it offers a similar sound performance, and you can even pick it up in either a black or white color variant to better match your style. Well, that's it for a review of the Samsung HW Q990D. Check out our website's written review to read more about the soundbar. There's a link in the description box below. Until next time, I'm Vanessa from Ratings.com, where we help you find the best products for your needs. Goodbye. Okay, oh, I just love when I watch movies and I feel the like cars racing past. It just <laughs> makes me feel like I'm in the Matrix. <laughs> I mean, who's to say that I'm not already there? <laughs> Oops. Oh, it's too bad I didn't bring my black trench coat and black glasses. Next time, next soundbar video.